Offensively, you got to be pretty proud of how you were able to move the ball against Washburn, especially early in the game. You know, we did we did a lot of good things, but the biggest thing is week one to week two, you don't see those improvements because we missed a lot, you know, too. Um, and I think you'll just see that improve week to week. And, and they never quit. You know, that, that's what I was happy with. They were still trying, driving. You know, we, we had a couple balls we can clean them. You know, things might be different. You said you wanted to get the hands and the the ball in the hands of your playmakers, and you were able to do that. Yeah, I thought I thought Dane did a great job on you know picking his spots and where we we're trying to get guys. And, and you know, with Washburn, they're they're just a very large team, and and we had some young guys playing, and that was their first MIAA experience. So you know, I, I was impressed with how we held our own in the. In the O line, especially you know in pass pro, you know we got some we got some ways to go in the run blocking. You know we struggled running the ball, but you know overall holding our own in the pass game and getting at the people in the right spots, we did a good job. You feel like the difference in the game actually came at the end of the the last minute of the, of the second quarter and the start of the third. I thought you know I thought that was the tail of the tape right there. You just, and I knew he was going to call a timeout. You're trying to bleed the clock and hope you can get a big play to hit. And, and it was just kind of a buzz saw, and with a, with a bunch of young guys, that, that takes a toll on their mentality, and that's what we've been preaching this year. But I, I was impressed how we still came back in the middle of the third and didn't quit. There was that feeling on the sideline, this could pop at any time, and they kept their heads up.